Let's continue. It is... Oh boy, and it's Sunday, so we might get slapped with another mission tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Oh, our IPC is in for repairs, that's good. Let's give them the, the mass repair button there. Good, good, good. Anything in the warehouse to repair? Nah. No broken parts yet. Here we go. A whole bunch of training for our surviving soldiers. That's good. Wow. A whole lot of training. Um, oh, it's a new month, so they got double training. Excellent. Every time it's a new month, uh, random, random members of your whole company get uh, one experience. So that's pretty cool. What else happens this month? Uh-oh, enemy morale is now high. That means there's a high chance of, of missions being spawned this month. Uh, unit market update. Let's, uh, let's look at our units that we could uh, possibly buy here. What was it that we were looking for before? A king crab? No king crabs on the market, unfortunately. There's a thunder fox. I'm a pretty big fan of the thunder fox. Um, I have a soft spot for quad mix. I have a Thunder Fox model, actually. 3D printed, of course. Um, that's pretty cool. 585 with two snub nose PPCs and an LB10 eggs. It's really tasty. Oh, but it's on the black market, so there's a chance it'll never show up. A one in six chance that they just take your money and run. Oh, Mad Cat Mark II! Oh my god, it's so thick! Holy shit. A 90 tonner with a Gauss rifle and an LB20. Oh boy. All right. That's a maybe. I mean, we, we really don't have room in the company for him yet because there is a certain limit to how many uh, lances you're allowed to command at once, sadly. I will take a look at our commander to see if we can increase that limit though. It is the strategy skill, which, oh, she should already have one in strategy for some reason does not. I'm going to fix that real quick. Strategy. Yeah, you actually can't be a commander without one rank of strategy, so she should have started with that. That's weird. So there, there she has that. But let's see if we can increase that. Spend experience. Strategy takes 20 experience. She does not have that. So, yep, we still can only command a company of mechs at this point. Mm. <laughs> Wonder how it is that you program live video into a site. I could probably make it. Well, almost all live video streaming services I hear use uh, Amazon... Uh, web services backend, including this here Twitch, because you know it's owned by Amazon, but but a lot of them use it. Um, I feel like you need to make a dual writer and seeker. It'll probably be complicated. Uh, yeah, sounds complicated if you want to make it from scratch for sure. Um, but if anyone could, it would probably be you, Emmy. If anybody could. Okay. Oh, our flea made it back, and now can we can get to work on fixing that too, so that's good. There we go. Yeah, that flea got fucked up last mission. And with that, I think we've done everything we can do today. Let's continue advancing time. Phew. Do we have any more soldiers to train? Oh yeah, two of them. There we go. Yeah, adding it to your ever-expanding ecosystem of uh, awesome web thingies, that's a thats a good plan, Emmy. That would be pretty cool. Alright, nothing left to repair. We've just got a, a fucked up foot platoon. 16 out of 25 remaining in that platoon, that's real sad. Um, oh yeah, I forgot we had another infantry transport, the Crane Heavy Transport. 
We can't even use that thing yet. There's no need to. We'll, we'll break off and make a second infantry company at some point, but right now we'll just keep it rolling. In fact, do we have any personnel to hire? No, we do not. Sad day. Uh, but at least that means I believe that all of our, our mechs are repaired, yes. All of our vehicles are in tip-top shape. It's really just our infantry that are feeling the pain after that mission. We will keep it going. Let's keep our rolling. And <laughs> literally nothing happens on Thursday. Oh, I forgot I was still zoomed in. Yeah, this uh, over here on the left is normally where like the, the day's events uh, roll in. We got a whole screen full of nothing. Make a podcast happen, 150 lines of code. Yeah, I bet you could. One thing at a time, though. Don't, uh, don't overwhelm yourself with projects. Boy, and a whole lot of nothing happens on this uh, in-game of Friday as well. We gotta have something else happening. Alright, new week. Here comes a new week, probably a new mission. Lama, training. No new mission. We got the enemy morale at high, and yet they don't give us new new things. Oh, a new dire, uh, a new doctor to hire. We're gonna hire this doctor. She's only green, but we we really need to spread out our um, our peeps. So right now, there's too many too many patients being seen by too few people. So, I'm going to knock that down to five on each of those. Yeah, that's good. There we go. That sounds really cool, I mean. I would love to see competitive to uh, Google Docs, for sure. I mean, I'd use it. I'm only using Google, you know, everything because of all of the, uh, you know, integrations. The ease of uh, cloudy things. It has been handy, but I would love to see competition, for sure. Uh, let's see. Yep, I guess we'll keep advancing the day because we were seen fit to not be given another mission yet. I mean, it's fine by me. We're just, we're here until, let's see, we're here for another month and a half or so. So if they just want to pay us to stand here, I am fine with that. Alright, new week. Bunch of training done for our remaining infantry. Ah, yes, and we do have a mission. A big, scary mission, in fact. <sighs> what? We only have... Oh, no. This is all allies, just one infantry group. One infantry... <laughs> one infantry platoon versus all of this? Are you fucking kidding me? We're bringing reinforcements, and we're facing a lot of infantry, so you can... Guess what? Guess who's the perfect ones for the job? Baker Lance. It's time to reinforce this battle with Baker Lance. Our anti-air infantry can't take them alone. Baker Lance will come to the rescue. Which means we've got Leaky. We've got Tin Cat. We've got Mick. Up to that. Okay. I like I like where your head's at, Emmy. Um Shit yeah. Got some collaboration going on. Uh, oh yeah, let me see if we can train anyone. Oh yeah, we can. Limo. Okay. This is this is a scary one. This is a scary mish. And we might have to do a little oh yeah. Let's see if we can clear off these wind conditions. Yes, okay. Oh boy, we've made it foggy though, which will be harder to move in. Mmm. Scary. 
Mm. But it means our fast moving stuff won't be as fast moving, so that's, that's kind of good for us. Yep, that's fine. Let's advance the day again and again until we get there. I think it happens on the 19th. Yes, here we go. It's time to begin. Let us start the game. I'll be like, what the fuck did you make? Yeah. Alright, that's been a constant question for you, Emmy. Here we go. New battle. A Baker Lance is, of course, being called in as reinforcements, so we have to last five rounds without them. We'll be getting reinforcements uh, pretty much all together because round six, then we'll all, they'll be followed up by a bunch. Goddamn. Uh, eight aircraft will be coming in to help us as well. Meanwhile, it'll just be our friends and the integrated forces that we have, the uh, AI-controlled uh, Wyvern and Ghost that are on our side. I hope they don't do anything too stupid. Let's uh, hit the bot settings thing over here real quick and uh, make them act really cowardly. Never takes a risk. There we go. Don't be a hero. So our anti-air rifle dudes. Well, we, they don't want, they won't have anything to shoot at in the air, but they'll have plenty of targets on the ground. And they're mechanized, so they can move three hexes, so that's great. That's great. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna get closer. Good. Oh, IDE, no, no, as if, as if it's an IDE for Julia written in Julia, I can just let people use it. Of course. Change it on a whim inside of itself. That's trippy. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, well, welcome back, awkwardly. Just in time for Baker Lance to show up to the field. Mick will soon be here. But it'll take five rounds for him to show up, along with the rest of Baker Lance. Meanwhile, our anti-air infantry have to hold out on their own. Against a big army. Oh boy. A whole lot of infantry and a bunch of construction mechs and industrial mechs. And a couple tanks. This will be difficult. But thankfully, we're surrounded by hardened buildings, so we're gonna, we're gonna find a good uh, building that's like on the end of a block here and hole up in it. There's a good one. Can we get somewhere that's more like on the end of something, please? Yeah, there's one. Okay. So, they're gonna start on the ground floor of this building and they're gonna creep through here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm manic. Oh, it's okay, Emmy, I know. Oh, shit! Oh my god, you're gifting yet another sub awkwardly? Holy hell, you are so awesome, I don't even know. I, I don't know what to say. You're just so fucking cool. Now Emmy's a subscriber. <laughs> my subscriber army is growing thanks to the kindness of awkwardly. Oh, just to the person you wanted it to be, that's awesome. Well, that worked out greatly. Yay. Friends. Thank you so much for supporting my dreams, awkwardly. Truly, truly and deeply, deep, deeply thankful. Yeah, words. They're hard sometimes, but you know, you know what I mean. Oh wow, our, our allied wyvern friend has uh, decided to spawn behind a bunch of buildings. So I guess he's just gonna pace back and forth behind some buildings while he waits. That's fine, I guess. Meanwhile, we'll take our dudes and try to move them into a position where they can see things and shoot things. That'll take a round or two, though. We can really only move through one building at a time. <laughs> yeah, like Emmy says, thank you. Support means a lot. <laughs> I don't need to say shit. Well, I should say something, don't you think? 
Oh, thank you. With your help, I am growing. And we are inching ever towards the $100 minimum, which will hopefully eventually be a $50 minimum for withdrawals from uh, Twitch. Oh, Amy. You know, I'd do it any time. I would save your life again and again and again. But, uh, you know, it's better to just be in a situation where your life doesn't need saving, I guess, but... Ah. <laughs> life is good. Life is good these days. Oh my god. Uh, looks like, uh, our, our bad dudes are doing some really stupid shit out there. It won't show me all the info, but all this red text means that they're probably skidding around. Uh, they're like trying to move like really quickly and stupidly. And so they're just falling over, blowing themselves up. Uh, looks like one of the industrial mechs just blew itself up by landing on the ground. <laughs> Ideally, yeah, you wouldn't be dead, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I myself enjoy not being dead. Came a little, uh, I came a little too close myself. Uh, okay. Now we can move our soldiers finally into this nice overwatch position in this building right here. And it's a hardened building, which means they will take no damage from being shot at inside the building. They've set themselves up a little fortress here. Hell yes, awkwardly, you are a founder. Uh, I believe the first 10 people to subscribe on any given channel, get the uh, Founders Badge. Which, uh, you've made up a large number of those people subscribed because of, you know, your contributions. Uh, I think gifted subs also count towards it and uh, they're like weighted more heavily or something like that. But, uh, point is, yeah, you made it. You'll always be one of my founders, awkwardly, and I deeply appreciate that. Kick ass, okay. Well, oh, we lose initiative, but hey, we're just sit sitting over here, you know? No biggie if we lose initiative. And we got one more round until our friends show up. Here comes Baker Lance. Here they are. Ooh. They can spawn a little closer to the action. If that's the case, we're gonna have Leaky start right here. Actually, it might not be smart to start right up in everything. We've got to rely on our allies to help here. We've got to form a united front, you know. So the nice guy's going to come running down Main Street, followed up with the Mercury to help crit seek with the holes he, he makes. <sighs> I like the modified emote there, awkwardly. Oh, And as, as always, I am incredibly appreciative of your support. And here comes our star player for this particular uh, mission, and that's going to be Tin Cat, Destroyer of Infantry. And then we also have our friend Mick in the Grot Machina here to help lay down some pew-pew on the units that aren't infantry. Meanwhile, I think it's time for our anti-air dudes to get on the move. They're going to start working their way through buildings again. So we will have, we'll have Leaky start moving up to join the others. Maybe he's going to jump. Nah, 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 let's stay together. He's going to sprint. There we go. We will have Tin Cat also sprint ahead. Seems like a Tin Cat thing to do. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow, those, uh, those sunglasses are perfect on <laughs> On that. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> I don't even know how you're doing it, but I'm, I'm glad you are. Right, we're going to have the Night Sky run forward, followed by the Mercury. Well, we'll have the Mercury run ahead and do some scouting. He reports, can't see shit, Captain. Meanwhile, uh... Our two uh, automated allies are just milling around on the edge of the map doing nothing. Kind of a good thing, actually, because we have an objective to keep them alive, I believe. Uh, 
yes, we're supposed to preserve both of their lives, so it's kind of good they're just derping around back there. <laughs> Ohio. I've never actually seen that emote before there, Emmy. That's cool, though. Let's see here. Yep, nobody can see shit. Let's just pass through this phase. I'm waiting for all the bad news to show up, because I know how big their en the enemy army is right now. It's fucking huge. Where are they? Where did they spawn? Tell me, game. Where did they spawn? Oh! Some of them are coming in from the east. Most of them, especially the infantry, are in the center. So we should be seeing them momentarily, really, once our scout mech, uh, the Mercury, gets into a better position. <laughs> That's literally me with a wrench for some reason. Yes. You know... That's one way to represent the fact that you're a tinkerer. You're just a digital tinkerer. That's that's the only difference. Um, plan mode. Let's send our infantry through the buildings, shall we? Oh, this is a great building for them to end on as well. They'll, they'll make it through in three more rounds. It's going to take a while, but... We'll, we'll start walking everyone carefully up. Have the... Uh, we'll have Leaky step up here and turn, but not run. Because that would be dumb. I'm scared. Uh, boy, let's see. Yeah, we'll have the Mercury run forward and then turn downward. Stay stay behind some buildings for cover, you know? Tincat's gonna get ahead of Leaky. We'll saunter his way up there. At work, I get off in an hour. You can't stop my power. Go, Mick. Hell yeah, Mick. In fact, Mick is going to charge forward. Unlike everyone else, he's going to run this round. Whoa, the map is getting covered with all our air allies. Holy shit, look at all these lines. Those are the flight paths of all our uh, our friends in the sky. They can see things. We can't, but... Ah, look at that. They're starting to reveal things to us. We have a vehicle up top. And that's probably what our, our Mercury will start taking care of next run. We have the anti-infantry platoon. Oh, that's bad. I have tranquilizer guns? That, I mean, I guess that's pretty anti-infantry. A trank gun. Wow, okay. You brought a tranquilizer gun to a bloody battle. I don't understand you guys, but, you know, more power to you. It's like they're playing Metal Gear Solid on a no-kill playthrough or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that I think that emote works well for you, I mean. Data scientist turned web developer on crack. You know, that's a good description of yourself too. Uh now it seems my units can still not see anybody to shoot at. So another round we will go, not being able to do a murder. That's too bad. It's never easy. It's busy. I'm tired, but soon I get home and have dinner. Hey, that's great. Matt, a grunt in the warehouse. I've also been a grunt in the warehouse before, and that might be the type of job I end up with uh, during my search here, so, uh, you know? It's all, whatever gets, whatever brings home the bag, you know? Let's see, ah! Those anti-infantry dudes with the, the Trank gun, uh, they did not get Tranked in return. They got blown up with some missiles, uh, taking four damage to their forces. Four dudes just dying in the street, uh, leaving 16 of them. Uh, they were shooting back at our uh, heavy strike fighter, though, so that's not good. That's not good at all. Please don't crash, friend. I'll have to tell my dudes not to kick buildings. Please don't kick the buildings. Thank you. Oh, no. It caused our allied uh, heavy strike fighter to uh, go out of control. He loses four elevation. Oh my god. If he goes down by one more elevation, he fucking dies. That's not good. He's gonna crash. No!
drop connection. Hello, I return. Yep, that's bad. I thought I fixed it too. I, I seriously thought I fixed it. Um, I changed servers. I changed it to a server that has way better stability. But no, it continues to fuck. To fuckulate. To be fuckulated. It's really bad. It's real bad. Um, my bitrate is still not stabilizing and it's uh, quite nerve wracking, honestly. Uh, we're gonna hit next player and have our, our other units uh, just fuck around back there. Ah, but our friendly ghost can now see this J27, Small so he might start shooting. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, Emmy. Um, who do we move up first? I think our nice guy is in a good, safe place to run forward and see what's what's happening. Anything down? Oh yes, he sees a bunch of infantry down here, and he lets Mick know. Oh, unfortunately, Mick is going to need another round to see them. That's too bad. Too bad. Tin Cat, though. I wonder if Tin Cat would take the risk to run down, to start running down this way. I bet Tin Cat would. Let's do it. Yep, he succeeds. <laughs> He's about to have a real fun time with these infantry down here. Uh, Leaky just keeps running forward. Actually, does he jump to a place where he can see that J-27? That might be a thing for Leaky to do. Yeah, Leaky's gonna jump. Woo! Me, a non-smoker. Hey, that's fine too, Awkward then. <laughs> it's not for everyone, but it is for me. Yeah, I feel that. And we're gonna have our Mercury friend run around here and try to take out this ordnance carrier. I like to smoke cigar and drink beer. There's nothing wrong with that either. Everybody, do what they want. If it's not hurting somebody else, just do your thing. Um, our soldiers see nothing. Leaky, however, is in a prime position to start filling this dude with energy and missiles. Let's do it. And then ooh, we can get a follow-up strike from our... Oh, wait, we got a pulse laser. I know what pulse lasers are used for. They're used for shredding infantry like they did to mine last battle. It's time to return the favor. Yep, big old pew pew. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Tin Cat. With his plasma cannon. Is gonna attempt to just finish melting this foot point that our... Uh, our Night Sky friend has started on. Oh, I forgot to give him Inferno ammo again. Whoopsies. <laughs> Yes, awkwardly is our Brazilian friend, oh. <laughs> we smoke a lot of weed here. <laughs> That's true. The United States is actually, uh, I mean, for, for all drugs, the United States uh, dwarfs drug consumption uh, over all other uh, countries. I forget whether it's all other countries combined or not, but it is like... Of, it's, it's like an order of magnitude above the consumption of all other countries, especially marijuana. Hmm. Poor Mick can't see anything yet this round. Next round, though, for sure. Oh, my. Leaky instantly destroying the J-27 Ordnance Carrier. Leaky gets a kill on that one for sure. Holy hell, it only takes five damage to get through its right side and destroy the innards. Wow, doesn't matter that he missed with everything else. Holy shit. Blew up the fuel tank while he's at it. Oh, uh, the night sky misses all the infantry. Ah, but Tin Cat. Tin Cat would never miss infantry. Doing an entire 13 fucking damage. He just killed 13 people with one uh, big glob of plasma fired in their direction. That is terrifying. Um... 
the Mercury fires some useless things at an already dead J27, takes two damage to his right arm, which is kind of significant for this tiny Mercury, but that's okay. And no kicking buildings, please. These are the buildings of my friends. <laughs> the land of burger, the USA. That, yep. Yeah. That, I mean, you're not wrong there, awkwardly. It is the land of burger. And Brazil does seem beautiful to me, yeah. <laughs> it is pretty miraculous if you've been eating the American diet and not growing fat. I mean, I grew up on the American diet, and that's why I'm still fat to this day. It's hard to shake. Plus, I, I, I don't think I move around quite enough. Oh, yeah. Feel free to post that picture. Pog, Pride Pog, Dark Dark Knight Pog. All right, let's see. Yes, I win initiative this round. Perfect time for me to do so. We're gonna keep working our way through the building with our anti-air infantry. They're about to be doing a whole lot of not anti-air. They're gonna be doing some murdering is what they're doing. We're gonna have Leaky keep jumping. It's the only way to get through this fog really quickly is with jump jets. Uh, which, you know what, our Night Sky can also take advantage of. He's going to jump right up to this Dig Lord here and fuck him up. Let's do it. Whee! Let's get in there. Ooh, another Ordnance Carrier. I think Mick has a target. He's going to sit completely still and tear into that Ordnance Carrier. Leave it to me, says Mick. Meanwhile, the Mercury... The Mercury is going to come support, uh, shooting at that Dig Lord. There we go. And Tin Cat. Of course, Tin Cat's got a job to do. He's got people to set fire to. Ha! I knew they were hiding. Well, they've all moved into buildings. Emmys from the entire United States. Yep. Yep, you're right. You really are from all over. <laughs> I have I've never heard a combination uh, accent like, like yours before. <laughs> real, real combo meal. Uh, all right, it's time to lay down some withering fire on this dig lord that has dared to expose itself. We're going to put a bunch of long-range fire, or medium, uh, medium range for the Griffin. Uh, Leaky's going to start laying it down there. And then, I guess the Mercury is also going to try to help with two ER mediums. Oh, wow, and he's just barely in range for the ER small lasers. Well, that's good. But the real work is about to be done by this Night Sky, hitting him with uh, some pulse lasers, some, some other dankness. Fact, let's just do all pulses. Keep our heat nice and neutral. Uh, unless I have triple. Oh my god! This mech has triple strength mimer, and I have I have not realized it for my entire use of it. Well, it's time to overheat on purpose. Alpha Stroyak. Stroyak. Yes, that puts him at nine heat, which is where it activates next round. Perfect. Do it. New Mexico bound. <laughs> yep. Accurate emotes for sure. Now, what do we do to infantry that are hiding in hardened buildings? Well, you can't take down these 100 HP buildings very easily. So what do you do? Well, I'll tell you what we do. We set them the fuck on fire. Smoke them out. Pew pew. Let me set this one over here on fire, like a pew pew. And then we attempt to set this one in the back on fire as well. Just set everything on fire, please. Yep, that's fine. Go for it. Ah, and now the hour of Mick. He is about to fuck this J37 up because it is time to fire a five shot with your rack five. Blam. You posted a new picture, eh? 
Cool, cool, cool. You know there's just peyote everywhere in the desert, right? I'm gonna be eating it constantly and growing it. Well, damn. <laughs> Sounds fun to me. Peyote does not sound good. Well, it doesn't taste good, awkwardly. Um, but, uh, I... <laughs> To each their own on the effects. I mean, uh, I'm a big fan. Well, I haven't had peyote proper, but I have had a research chemical that is very close in structure to uh, peyote, known as, uh, actually, it's funny, it's called 2CP. I wonder if they called it P because it's almost mescaline. Anyway, I'm getting, uh, getting off track here. Ooh, man, we are really fucking up that Dig Lord mining mech that showed itself. Uh, Leaky starts off by sh just tearing into its left leg, uh, fucking up the hip joint and the upper leg actuator, before also slamming some missiles into its left arm and screwing up its left arm, uh, his upper arm actuator. Mercury follows up with uh, some laser fire, gets some armor down, that's good. Oh boy. Now here comes all of the infantry shooting at our Mistlex friend, uh, Tin Cat. He is taking some damage, it is a little scary. I love peyote tea, peyote with lemon. Oh, damn. Um, yeah, 2CB is similar to L, for sure. Yeah. I've only had 2CB, like, twice, but but I, I'd agree with that assessment. It's it's wild how different all of the 2Cs are. 2CE is a very emotionless one. 2CI is, uh, uh, it's a little more withdrawn, but still has some acid-like effects. Um, there's one I'm forgetting, but... Yeah, if, uh, I used to do a lot of research chemicals. <laughs> and it's good. It's a good idea to stick to naturals. That's that's completely understandable, I mean. Um, flower seeds or shrooms. Ah, yes, yes, of course. You must mean morning glory. Um, or, or do you mean cactus flower seeds? That That's interesting as well, if so. Um, ooh, our night sky really did some damage to that dig lord as well. Cutting into the left torso and... Fucking up its fluid gun ammo. Uh, not, okay, not a very important crit, but, um. Oh, god, Emmy, no, please. Not the Sonoran Desert, uh, no, 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 no. Five Emmy, that was far too dark for anyone. <laughs> Especially when you get it through animal cruelty. Uh, miss me with that. Oh, but, oh man, Mick is, Mick is putting in the work. Let's see. Oh, and Tin Cat successfully set fire to the two, for, well, to the two buildings I thought he would. The third one didn't happen, but that's okay. And awkwardly, you you have fun with those guns over there. <laughs> Carefully and responsibly. Um, yeah, I thought you might have been referring to those two, Emmy. <laughs> have to get punished for the purge. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, Mick utterly tears into that J thirty seven ordnance transport. Stunning and immobilizing it. Excellent. Mick, do the work. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're talking about the Desert Toad, I would still call it a form of animal cruelty to uh, purposely scare a toad so that it secretes its poison. And uh, to... Uh, to poke it repeatedly. Like, I've seen what they do, and it's not nice. Anyway, um, yeah, Mick, Mick really did some work. He completely tore up that uh, ordnance transport, so that's one on the board for Mick. Um, the Dig Lord, meanwhile, with all that hip damage, has fallen over and further damaged his legs a lot. Um, but we're not done with that dig lord, because now we got a night sky with a hatchet standing over it. Oh, oh, okay, now I see what you're talking about, Emmy. Yeah, I agree, the purge is there for a reason. Shamans would definitely agree. Um, Alright, let's swing our hatchet at this uh, here dig lord. Woof, that's gonna hurt. And nobody else needs to do any kicking. Oh well, 
Go ahead and kick this building next to you, friend. Why not? The ones that are on fire are pretty much, you know, sacrificed anyway. Oh, we missed with the hatchet. Only needed a four and rolled a three. Come on, bro. Okay, well. Well, the dig lord took some some gyro damage, so it's it's screwed. It's not. It's never standing again. He'll never walk again. Yeah, he ejected. That's smart. That was a smart. He did a real smart to be doing that. Climb mode. It's time to engage with the others, their friend. Ah, oh, but first let's make the other players move. Hey, the wyvern's joining the battle. That's cool. And the ghost is stepping up as well. Looks like our allies will be providing some distant support for us. That's fine. We're gonna have Mick walk around the corner all badass like, ready to help in our new new area. Man, this, this place is just crawling with infantry. Really, the best op option is to set it all on fire. Um, trip is not something to fuck around with. Thus, it begins with an expulsion of self. You start tripping as you vomit, swear to God. Yeah, that's true. It does kick it into another gear on the, the purge type trips for sure. I did deter though, no. The deliriants are what you need to stay away from. Agreed, deliriants are real bad. Well, it's okay, awkwardly. I don't know what you mean by mass, but um, yeah. Um, it's okay to, uh, you know, not partake. Everybody has their, you know, their choices in life. Let's send the Mercury down here and see if we can get a view on anything new. Ooh, there's an APC behind him. That's not good. Uh, still don't want to move our soldiers because I want to see what these anti-infantry fucks are going to do. Actually, you know what? They're raring for a fight. Let's enter the building next to them. Now we share a building. We must fight. Oh no, the griffin can't see things. No. Leaky, help. Help your friends. He still can't see. God damn. Alright. Hold on. Time for some indirect fire from Leaky. We'll just run. There we go. I think we'll just have the nice guy sidle up next to this. This here APC. And uh, tell, just show them what a grave mistake they've made. Meanwhile, Tin Cat. Ooh, what is Tin Cat gonna do? There's no more infantry left in the streets to shoot at. He's gonna keep looking for new infantry to fuck up. Do that, he's gonna keep, he's just gonna run down the street. Hey, that fire killed the one uh, infantry point that was in there. Uh, the other one managed to avoid the fire that they're standing in somehow, some way. Uh, oh god. <laughs> the Ding Lord pilot utterly failed to eject and uh, mulched himself on the way out of the cockpit. Oh, I see now, awkwardly, you fucked with your friends who were on drugs. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, Want to forget what you did for the past 38 hours, but know you were terrified, couldn't read or comprehend anything. <laughs> yeah. Them delirians. I was trying to talk to my brother when he was on it. I was like, nah, fuck delirium. Yep, yep, agreed. He burned his wall thinking there were bugs on it. Oof. Yep, delirians are no fun. Some pictures from your homeland in the memes, huh? That's cool, awkwardly. I, uh, I'll have to check them out in a little while. I'm trying to get us through this battle at a certain pace. Ah, uh, but the anti-infantry have engaged our infantry. Well, we're pretty anti-infantry ourselves. Let's shoot back with our auto rifles. They're, and they only have tranquilizers, you know? So, I wouldn't say any of our dudes are going to be killed by them. Even if it rules them as such, I will turn that off. Uh, Leaky has no shots. 
Oh shit, no, I was gonna... Damn it. Never mind. He would have had shots, but I forgot I was gonna spot for him. That's alright, we'll just focus. We'll focus him down. Shoot that APC that dares to be in your behind there, Mercury. And we're gonna have... What are we gonna do here? We're gonna shoot our more regular weapons at the uh, APC. And shoot a pulse weapon. And or shoot a few pulse weapons at the jump point. Now I'm trying to maintain um, nine heat. Which we have achieved. Awesome. Okay. That's really easy to do, apparently. Ah, Tin Cat did find some infantry hiding. That's so awesome. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Oh. Let's see. Folks that were shooting shit at him when he drove to the store. Thought I was in the car with him and his friend. He went into Walmart and bought bug spray. Holy shit. That's intense. That's intense at me. All right, time to set fire to this building. Tin Cat is continuing to war crime with the best of them. Let's see what happens. Our anti-air guys put their rifles into the anti-infantry people, doing three damage to them. And, ah, oh, they're armored. That's what makes them anti-infantry. They only take three damage. But, they're well on the way. Ooh, the APC is shooting at our Mercury, uh, but thankfully only hits them in the left arm instead of the rear, which would have been real bad. Uh, the Mercury responds by turning around and shooting uh, one of his lasers at the APC. Not doing much, just some armor damage. Uh, let's see, the anti-infantry shoot a trank, shoot their trank guns at, uh, our anti-air guys and puts one of them to sleep. Cool. Um, let's see. Ah, the night sky does manage to immobilize the MHI and then starts putting his pulse weapons into the uh, clan jump point at great effect, uh, reducing their numbers to 13. Tin Cat successfully sets the fire uh, quite well. And... The infantry that he found pour some SRMs into him. But Tin Cat is still as of yet unbreached. His armor remains intact. And now, for the lulls, we will swing a hatchet. Wait. Nah, we'll kick. We will kick at these uh, clan uh, jump point peoples. And I guess that's all we'll do. That's all the melee we can do right now. This friend that my grandpa knows does meth was there. Oh god. He was on that shit. I was calling it the doctor. Oh no. Talk to a grandpa and I went fine, but bro. When I was talking to him, he was on it. He was just saying nonsense. He did a thousand milligrams for no reason. God damn! Yeah. 300 milligrams was your suggestion on oh, okay. Oh wow, peer pressure fucking sucks. How do you know what you will and won't feel? Everyone is chemically different. That is just awful of them. Uh, let's see. The kick does successfully hit the infantry, doing one damage. And we win initiative, which is great. Uh, the last ones we want to move are definitely our mechanized infantry. Everybody else, let's get moving. Nick is going to keep confidently striding down the street. And we're going to force our allies to move first. I guess the Wyvern can start taking some of these shots. Um, bro was staying straight tripping. Yeah, I bet he was. Um... We're gonna, have, uh, we're gonna have Leaky jump in towards this, uh, this here spot. And... 
He said it, I told him don't look at my face, and then he looked at my face and my eyes turned to teeth that bit down. Oh shit. Um That's <laughs> Did he ever read the Sandman graphic novel? Because uh there's literally a, a nightmare from uh, like a demon of sorts from that uh book slash show that has teeth for eyes called the Corinthian. So that's 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 odd that that you know that's a thing that was seen. Um, let's see. <laughs> the dab buzz. Um, what should my night sky do? He's gonna look down this other street and see if he sees any bad dudes hiding down there. Nope, nobody down that street either. There might be some hiding in this line behind the building, so I think that's what Tin Cat's next job is going to be. And he's going to try not to skid off the map. He does not skid off the map. Great job, Tin Cat. Unfortunately, there's nothing back there. How weird. Where are they? Are they all just in these buildings? Do we have to just smoke them out over and over again? Anyway, now that the anti-infantry have moved, we know exactly what to do about that. We're going to keep chasing them down. We are out damaging them a good bit, so let's keep that up. Now Mercury is going to. Oh, why did the jump point not jump? That that's real dumb of them. Um. There we go. We'll get a little dodge. In fact, yeah, there we go. We'll get farther away from them, so it's harder for them to hit, but easier for me. Oof. Looks like our friends in the sky can see something. Ah, there it is. The Zoria. Okay. That's that's one of the most dangerous units on the map right now. So I'm glad they're starting to work on that. Meanwhile, we have our infantry battle going on over here. We're going to have our AA guys shoot the AI guys. And... We'll keep... Uh, We'll just keep shooting at these this clan jump point. I don't know why they're so hard to hit. They haven't even done anything. But we will do a twist and shout. Oh wait, I have nothing in my right arm. Never mind, Night Sky can't shoot shit this round. That's too bad. But we'll have our Mercury keep working on them. Pew 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 pew. pew. Just like that. Makes that, that exact sound. And Mick can also unfortunately do nothing. Let's see what happens. Ah, uh, yes. We continue to wear down the anti infantry uh, people that are in battle with our AA infantry. Uh, we do four damage to them, reducing their numbers to nine men. They're not all men. Why does it say nine men alive? How dare. Who knows what their genders are? How dare you assume? Uh, anyway, the Griffin. Leaky does not land anything on the Flamer uh, platoon. That's too bad. Ah, uh, but our Mercury does successfully put some lasers into them. You know, like, uh, like this. Like that. And, uh... Why was that one so much louder? Hold on. Yeah, that's weird. Anyway. Um... I'm going to adjust that. I was working on my soundboard for, for a reason. Let's fix that. Where's the small laser? There it is. I'm going to up that by two, no, three. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, uh, the Zoria is using its cluster weapon against our flying friend, reducing the, his left wing armor to zero and almost breaking through the nose of the craft. That's not good. Ah, uh, one of our strike fighters in the sky is helping take out that clan jump point. That's good. They did two damage to it. Uh, looks like the anti-infantry folks missed my infantry. That's great. Um, and some more damage, uh, some light damage was done to the Zoria that's hiding in the back. We're going to try and get someone over to that Zoria so we can do some, some ouching on them. Give him a big old oof. 
Oh boy. That Zoria did not manage to knock one of our uh, allies in the sky out of control. So they will be fighting to regain control this round. And we also lost initiative. That's bad. I don't know if we'll be able to defend ourselves against these infantry. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to have everyone else move on. Well, we'll at least have Leaky start moving his way down there. Oh, it'll be slow going, though, because of this fog we're in. Be sad. Big ol' Sag. We're going to have the Mercury run his ass off down here. We'll actually have the Night Sky turn and fight what's left of this jump point, because he has pulse weapons. Mick is also going to run forward and see if he can help with this jump point. Although, ooh, that's kind of scary. We'll have Tin Cat move first. He sees nothing. That's alright. Yep. We'll just have the Night Sky turn into a place where he can uh, still turn and shoot the, uh, the jump point wherever they go. <laughs> See, I knew they were going to jump, and they jumped, but they did not jump far enough. So we're going to have Mick leering down at them from only 30 meters away. Oh, man. And just as I feared, their anti-infantry are moving last, so we don't know where they're going to be. Oh, they stood still. They're just going to do battle with us till the bitter end, eh? That's fine by me. We do them a shoot. Why are our allies shooting at my people? That's not good. AI is being a shit. Um, hmm. Do a Twiznest, please. Shoot, I guess, this vehicle crew. Actually, I'd rather keep them. We'll fire at these, uh, this clan jump point that is still a threat. Yeah, this jump point is so fucking good. Oh no, I can't maintain heat. That's not good. Not that I really need it. And we'll also reach back with our uh, Mercury. Yeah, this, this clan jump point is so dead. These soldiers are gonzo. Nick getting the last laugh with his pew pews. Let's have him do the three shot rack. That's fine. Who gets the final kill on the clan jump point? That's our night sky friend, Doctrine. Who gets it? Oh, he gets this. No other major happenings this round. Wait, I am curious. Did we do any more damage to the anti infantry? Yes, we did two damage to them, leaving seven men alive. We're just slowly whittling them down. It's quite the epic firefight going on in that building over there. And we lost initiative again. God damn it. Alright, well, we're all going to start rushing towards that Zoria, I guess. Mercury, do the vroom vroom thing. There we go. Tin Cat, also do the Vroom Vroom. And... Yeah, everyone's just gonna start rushing down there. That's fine. Even Mick... will sidle his way along. Yeah, that's fine. And our rifle dudes will continue fighting to the bitter end, just standing there. It looks like they are joined in battle once again by the anti-infantry that are fighting them. So they go pew pew. Everybody else just kind of chills. Chill round. Wait, something is shooting at our urban mech? The Zoria! I thought we couldn't see it. Oh shit, it moved into place and I didn't even notice. Big sad. It's okay, it didn't accomplish anything. And we won initiative. Now is the time we strike. Tin Cat. 
equip around that building, why don't you? There's the Zoria. Um, who are mechanized dudes need to keep give chase to the clan anti-infantry that is now running tails between legs. And our Mercury friendo. We'll save him for last. We'll keep moving the night sky up. Mick is going to keep charging forward. And Leaky is going to keep charging forward. Actually, I was going to duck to the side. And the Mercury. Here he go. There he do. Infantry on infantry battle continues in this building over here. Slow and brutal as it is. Um, I'm wondering what the percentage of our Op 4 remaining looks like. We'll, we'll check that in a minute. First we have the Mercury put all of his lasers into the Zoria. Then we have <laughs> we have Tin Cat run up and put some fiery hurt into this thing. With an SRM2 to finish it off. Mick unfortunately cannot see anything, so he's just chilling. Uh, let's see, our heavy strike fighter. Oh my god. Our ally destroyed the Zoria before we can even get our hands on it. Big sad. The Zoria does blow the left arm off of our Mercury uh, before it goes, which is sad. Mercury does some damage back at it, and then, oh my god, Tidcat comes up and overkills the shit out of this Zoria. Wow, I didn't know Plasma Cannons did actual armor damage to vehicles. That's cool as hell, actually. Um, yeah, that's weird. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Yep, he destroyed that vehicle so utterly. My oh my. The violence of this one. Even when he's not here to say what to do, Incat's just a murderer. <laughs> okay. How many of them does that leave? Infantry, 33%. Yep, as I thought. There's only one of each unit left. Where are they hiding? It's time to do some searching. Mercury... He's gonna step here. And see if my hunches are correct. If not, then we'll have Tin Cat work his way towards uh, the next possible hiding spot. Okay, nobody there. Tin Cat's gonna go. Go check out the uh, the back rows. In fact, wait, he could jump. Over here, please. I need to see if anyone's hiding in this little... This singular spot right here. Nope, nobody back there. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear about the scientists that stood outside some bank screaming about climate change? No. I'd say I have. And say I've heard a thing. Alright, it's time to jump up onto a building. If we can get to one of these. Come on. Dude. Just trying to get to this central area, bro. Why won't you let me? What the fuck is the height of these buildings? Oh, seven and eight. Okay. Damn it, they might be hiding in the center! Alright, let's see. We'll, just, we'll work our way around. Mick is also gonna start jumping. Everybody needs to start jumping. Because he's gonna check out the other side of the city. Whee! And we're gonna have Leaky also start checking out the other end of the city. Like that. Clan and infantry are running out into the streets like fools. Meanwhile, we'll stay nice and comfy in our hardened building with protection. Oh wow! Planes immediately fly over these dudes as they expose themselves. They're they're not gonna make it. But we'll shoot them just in case. I mean, he's not wrong. We're kind of looking at global catastrophe by 2060. Yeah, probably. People are so dissonant to change because life of driving everywhere is so nice. Yeah, good point. That is the case. Okay. 
Mm, I don't see any target. Big sad. Nobody do a shoot this turn. Just our infantry. We see nothing. We see no one. I have four rounds to find them. Ooh. The planes did not even shoot at those anti-infantry. Instead, we took them out. Our motorized, wheeled anti-air platoon has gotten them. Nicely done, gents. Enjoy your experience points. And... Nobody else does anything. <laughs> we do like the Japanese and start taxing bigger cars higher based on emissions. Make it expensive to own a truck. Yeah, probably be a, a nice stopgap at this point. Also got to be a global effort in the world won't ever work together even though we're slowly starting to catch on fire. Yeah, also will say. Alright, we're going to have our mechanized dudes start working their way through the city. We're gonna have Leaky start jumping on buildings and looking for, for bad bad folks. Actually, I'm um, just gonna double check the end of this road. Oh no, Mick should be able to see that. Let's see. Yeah, Mick can see that, and there's nobody there, so. <laughs> what is Mick gonna do? He's gonna jump back here. Mm. Leaky's gonna join him in searching in that direction. Making wow. sure he's not jumping on to any buildings that will collapse when he gets there. And we'll also have Pink Cat jump around. Jump up and get down. And our Night Sky friend has finally made it to somewhere he can see this uh, little courtyard in here. So he'll take a look at it. And there's nobody there. Okay. Yeah, where the fuck are these other dudes hiding? Mercury's gonna slowly work his way back towards the, the group. Wow. I don't know why I can't hear my sound alerts right now, but uh, I wish I could. Should be coming through my monitor line. Is my monitor line not working? Hold on. I better check that now. Oh, it should be coming through. Maybe I just need it to. I need to turn it up. There. Hmm. Soldiers can't see things. My mech warriors also cannot see things. This is a skip round. Mostly, like, we win. Like, we, we, by the numbers, we win at this point. But I am trying to find out if there's any other units we can claim for salvage real quick. If I don't find them within the next round or two, though, we'll call it there. Bruh. I am curious. Nick is going to go check the very corner of this uh, map, first by looking here. And we'll have Leaky check this little back alley. Nothing that way either, huh? Tin Cat's going to keep jumping around with the rest of us. Yes, that building will do. And Mercury is running on foot. Back towards the corner. Our anti-air dudes are going to work through these buildings here. Very much bruh. This is, this is pretty bruh. Just trying to find the, the rest of these bad dudes and they're not showing up. They've run away! Cowards. Although I don't blame them. They're facing us after all. Nope, nope, nope. I see nobody. This is. Uh, I'm gonna check one more spot and then we're gonna say we win and that the rest ran away. Because they really are running away.
Come on, then. <sighs> All right, final check. Work through this building right here. Nobody in that courtyard, okay. We will get the next, is there no next player? Next player, there it is. There we go. All right, Mick, time to go to the very corner of the map and tell me what you see. Nothing is the answer. He sees nothing. Mercury is going to check behind this corner. And also sees nothing. Well, in that case, we are calling it to the air. First, let me make sure there's nobody hiding in this little courtyard. Nobody. We are out of places to check. It means everyone's gone inside buildings. And I'm not about to start rooting those out. That sounds really annoying. So we're not gonna. I'll do, I'll just jump on another random set of buildings and see if I see anybody, but uh, not looking promising. Nope. All right. Slash victory time. Slash victory. There we go. Yep. We pummeled them. They've been pummeled. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Skip through this phase, please, so we can say we win. There we go. All victory conditions achieved. Save the salvage and let's advance. We did control this battlefield quite convincingly, if I do say so myself. We should not have any dead units. Uh, looks like our one guy who got hit with a tranquilizer rifle did uh, receive one injury, I guess from falling over after being tranquilized. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can understand that. And let's see. Ah, yes, we got some salvage out of that, so I'm happy. Wow, the equipment for the flamer point uh, apparently really cost a lot. That's awesome. We're about to get money. Ooh, and we captured a bunch of soldiers. Just what we needed. Oh, that's wonderful. Yep, so many fucking soldiers. Good. I remember saying that Mick was on the board for one kill. I don't remember what it was for, though. Um, <laughs> I really don't remember. I do know that Tin Cat needs to be on the board for two infantry kills, though. So he set fires, and it did not go well for those who were in the fire. Um, oh, yes, that's right. It was a J-37. Mick utterly destroyed that, so there we go. In fact, I can zoom in on this. This happening, happening. Wait, can I? Oh yes, other screen. Whee! Whee! There we go. Now. Who else got things? I mean, the Mercury shot at some infantry a lot. We'll say that. We'll say Book got, got a kill for that. And the Zoria. It was our allies that killed the Zoria. And that crosscut, I think, is the one that blew itself up at the beginning from us getting on the ground, so. Nope to that one. The MHI was done in by the Night Sky. Well, there's another one on the board for the Night Sky. I'm surprised nobody has claimed our Night Sky Pilot's uh, character yet. It is out there just kicking ass. Unassociated with any community members yet. Uh, the Dig Lord was also utterly fucked by the Night Sky. The Night Sky did some real work this mesh. This mesh. Uh, yeah, all objectives are completely wrecked. Be it. Finish. Boop. Oh my god, that mission made us rich. Almost 5 million seabills just from that. Hell yeah. That was easy enough.